Greetings, uh, planet Earth. This is Jim Channon coming to you from the Bio Oasis, where we have a, um, a studio where we study things we think are of importance about seeing the future and organizing ourselves to do something about it. I invented the word imagine action. And uh, studying carefully recently what the imagination and thinking world has said about people who have an imagination and people who don't is that there is a common ingredient. And something's been added to that. The common ingredient was that people who were geniuses or could use their imagination, which means they had some command over all the pieces of information they had just studied or knew or were dealing with, and then had the option to move them around until they produce it, a cre creative new whole, those people were occasionally uh, thought of as having some contact with God. Well, rather than the academics talking about the contact with God, they just said, no, everybody who really is good at imagination has a enhanced working memory. And what I discovered working with advanced visual language for 45 years is that I always enhanced what I learned. And I enhanced it by creating it in a joyful color, by having one element that was bigger than the others appear bigger than the others, by having a sequence of connections with line to show the bigger relationships, when it got really good, I, uh, the picture actually looked like an engine that was working and you could tell where you started and where the button was and where you were going. If the, um, if the idea was very important or holy, why you needed to use some images that were very, very subtle and, and majestic. And if it's happy or playful, you use a lot of basic colors. If it's about energy, you move the language around like it's energy. It's not an idea in a box. We have those. So what I'll be doing today is just giving you a set of about 12 ideas of what a working memory looks like. And um, as you uh, go along in your process of noticing just how big the world has gotten all of a sudden and how it's harder than ever to hold on to the pieces that belong together and put them together so you can work with them and cook them and fire them up, etc., and make something out of them, then you'll know why all these maps are kind of important. So follow me if you will. So let me try to put myself in your shoes for a moment. You've either been to a, a meeting where somebody started at the top left of a a whiteboard with a little black marker and by the end of the meeting there were you know what five dozen notations a few pieces of art or you've been somewhere where you had to take notes either at a meeting in the back or let's say you watched a great YouTube and it was just full of key ideas so what do you do next I'm suggesting that you take a some uh, three by five uh, post-its, you get a board, and on the post-its you write all the titles of the ideas that you uh, discovered, and if there's some artwork, you also include the artwork, and then you post them here on your working memory. How do you enhance that? Well, you enhance that by, first of all, looking around to see which ideas relate to the others, which ideas should come first and which ideas should come last, and then you arrange the post-its post in that way. To enhance it further, you take some other stickies, color-coded stickies, and you say, this belongs in the executive summary report because it's that important, and here's another one that belongs there. These we'll use on the poster later, and yet there might be two or three other ways to indicate what's going to happen with this information. So now looking to another way we enhance information. 
Here, I looked at my post-it board and I wrote a key sentence from each of the post-its. I worried about the order of the sentences. There was a beginning, there was an ending. It was the right length to read. It had the right emotional content. And so there goes the enhanced information into a written form. But to further enhance it, what we do is we actually find a graphic or create a graphic which projects the whole idea into a long range picture with a slightly uh, pointed uh, altarpiece. Let's just call that an altarpiece. Most people think their logos are, are an altarpiece. But in this case, so then you've come sort of completed the circle and the circuit and all the way you have the confidence that you haven't lost any of the core ideas. So just sweeping around the room now, it could be you have somebody record your meeting as a graphic recorder. And so they end up locating the key ideas in words, but they locate them in a collective diagram which shows us the proper relationships, shows what the key idea is, produces some emotional color, and that could then provide a non-corporate but very important way to present information, let's say, in the school system. Just tacking a little piece onto that, here we've had a graphic recorder that already took all the ideas and starting with one of them, wove them together by a piece of uh, communication that shows them all being interconnected, but all being different flavors. If it comes to a place where you have to do something first in order to then get to something next, this kind of simple diagram says, here we go, we master this, then we add this layer, then we add that layer, then we add that layer. Now you've just taken the audience by the hand at that point and given them a real clear sense of what the relationships of all the ideas are, what their flavors are, and what their optimal execution is. Sliding across this huge uh, working memory which is enhanced by imagery, written words, uh, key little bottles here to color code certain kind of ideas and all built one step at a time from dreams initially. Now taking up 22 feet in this studio and there will be a new one coming up shortly. While we're in that zone, I would just say here we have from left to right, we have an idea that starts with some components and then systematically adds the components as we go along in space and time. That is enhanced working memory. It's an evolving map. Other kinds of maps, uh, perhaps like this, are uh, really important, especially over time. This is the eighth time I've put something on this map. And it's three acres, one, two, three. And they each have a, a theme, which is peace, which is farthest from the front door, plenty, which is where stuff all grows in the gardens, and play, which is closest to the front door. Our recreational area is, this is the bioasis. Notice how much information I can pack on this. Notice for the time being that I've used color as the key indicator between permanent buildings, mobile buildings, support technology buildings, and nomadic buildings. I'll be able to use that again and again, and uh, I do. <laughs> Taking that to a slightly different zone, I want to bring you a, your attention to what happens, and let's say you're a Tai Chi master. Let's say you're working with only energy. Not content, not things, but flow, fields of information. Flows of the fields of energy. Well, 
What's the vocabulary for that? Well, try this one on. Here's a situation where there's a person performing a certain level of elegance, and we show them from their roots in the soil, moving through the dimension of fire, which is in their belly, exuding color, life, and beauty, adding water, spreading it to the world, and then jumping in a timeless space between the sun and the moon uh, while catching a magical sacred element in their hand. But this is energy. The color shows and the shape shows you where the energy is moving. We even have some gold level uh, paint here to show you when it's actually shimmering. So it is possible to make an enhanced, enhanced memory uh, about things that are purely energetic. And uh, that would be really nice for a change. <laughs> now let's get to something more strategic. So this was prepared uh, with a computer and then written on with handwriting to give it a little more natural flavor. This is the working enhanced memory of the major stories of this century. We are in fact, in the global age. We have an aqu Aquarian inheritance from astrology. We have a take care of the planet inheritance from the Native Americans. We have other things that produce our interest in moving toward the golden age, which could be a longer range objective. There could be uh, values and other uh, levels of ventures could be added. Because these pieces can move around, they can change. But all of this rests on a platform of the net-centric organization. Boxes uh, on top of boxes are not how organizations work anymore. They work screen to screen through a variety of, of networks. And so this level of uh, enhanced working memory was made on a small computer and simply blown up on, uh, at the printing shop to create a space. I could have just printed five of these and then written these forms on for almost anything. This could be a corporate strategic uh, plan. But notice how all the pieces come in space-time. They have their respective relevance. They have their respective honor or sacredness. Uh, and they have their practical elements as well. So this is very, very rich stuff. And stuff which we can build stories from. And stuff that should sit on the wall so it can be swallowed, you know, day after day where the highest and best ideas are organized in the most logical and important ways. Enhanced um, memory. So, I'll show you just a few last moments in uh, a journal style that you might be using more naturally. So, uh, imagining that you all have access to journals and do some journaling. Here's an extremely flexible journal and top, and there's not too much bleed through in it. And um, I use it to, I like, I filled five of these up this year. Here's a piece of conceptual art. Here's some notes and some logo ideas. Here's getting to a little executive summary. And before you know it, I have an enhanced working memory drawing. It's, it's, it's obviously in an idea form. You can feel the idea growing. You can see the parts, the pieces to it. Some of the pieces are circled and colored to be more and more important. When you break it down if, in terms of something to create, there, there's a, a working memory that shows all the ingredients. And you can even, if you're good, you can see which ingredients need to go in the deepest and the most. And there's a, a little paragraph there describing what else is going on. So you see there's these kinds of combinations all the way through. Look at the quality of this uh, constellation of ideas. 
I've got the quality there. You can see it has a hierarchy. There is, in this case, a divine director in this. This is a spiritual piece. And various players, the Tibetans turn these things into tankas, uh, where you have this you know, sort of an organizational diagram, but it has all the key spiritual players in it. So you journal, um, Zequence out of LA has some really great tough journals and so so uh, I think it would be a great idea if you tried a couple of these before you put, sort of forget the big idea so here is a very simple vision advanced uh, vision memory enhanced working vision memory notice what's going on here the highest objectives are sort of at the top. Some material things are sort of included here. Some things that you want to highlight for, say, uh, dollar amounts in this zone and any platform that you might. Notice this is just a Sharpie and some colored pencils. Your, my lines are kind of educated because I've been drawing a while, but I think you should go for this. Every vision you have that becomes a prayer really is a lot easier for the angels to work with if you get your data right. <laughs> and for your own home, perhaps you could have one of these smaller visions which postures your future state of being in relationship to heaven and earth and also indicates some key things you want to become in writing and the trip in between. Not a very complicated piece of art and um, something that you can uh, harness, you know, say every new moon you could do something like this to harness your dreams and wishes for the future. So, my future wish for you is that you have an enhanced working memory bank and how you organize your kitchen is a working memory. <laughs> How you organize your dressing area is a working memory. How you organize your tool shed is a working area. Where you put things in your car is a working memory. And uh, so, working memories taken seriously don't dissolve into lost crumbly paper lists that can never be recovered. The world is happening everywhere at high speed grab the low-hanging fruit and put it in a picture. <laughs> That's all for now. I'm Jim Channon. Aloha.